It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it It's time to spread some knowledge, man Look, man, real quick So basically, man There was an interview or article I don't, I don't fucking know, man We're gonna go over that shit It's very short, whatever But I, I, I wanna say something first, my nigga So, listen, this uncommon thought and this is a tragedy my nigga you look look i'm hopeful i want the game to be good for you niggas it's gonna be like oh, why are you playing the game all you do is good play it. shut the fuck up bitch leave the video i'm about to rant right now if you don't like it leave leave you feel me i'm about to rant so you, you don't like it either leave but anyways man shout out to y'all niggas that fuck with me but look so, there is an interview about this shit, and basically, what 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 I want to say in the beginning, man, is every year 2K comes out, right? Th this is like a big fuck up, like, and they're they're never gonna notice until it's too late, cause this shit gon' this shit is it's gonna everything's gonna increase every single fucking year for for a long while, man. And and what I'm talking about is. The gaming sales for the game is going to increase every year. The reason and, and the VC prices, the monetization of everything they did, the, all the money they're getting, it's going to increase every year. I'm going to give you reasons why, bro. It's, it's not because of the gameplay or what they did or, or any of that. One, the NBA, NBA 2K, they're, they're, they're linked, okay? basketball the real sport is getting more popular and popular every year okay what what what, what is that going to do for 2k it's going to make it more and more popular every year it, there's no other basketball game that's as developed as 2k so by default w without them even having to improve from the last game they improve their sales because of that and the mon the monetization it directly correlates with that man okay their 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 concept of oh we could go to a park and we can make our own player and play versus each other and there's this there's that we can even do five on fives we can all this my team we can put all these crazy cards together we can have a 99 vince carter and 99 michael jordan we can have a full team of of 99 um fucking uh hall of famers that i loved and everyone i could put every badge on them like it's just, it, there's, there's so much fuckery that it's it's it doesn't mean that it, it's a good game it doesn't mean the gameplay is improved it doesn't mean customers are happy. It's that they don't have nowhere else to go, my nigga. They're, they're, NBA Live is going to be fucking garbage every year until 2025. I don't care what nobody else says. That shit is going to be fucking trash. Shitty boo-boo. It is never going to compare to 2K. Slow, clunky bullshit. That shit. Get the fuck up out my face, nigga. Okay? Let's keep it 100, man. You know, you ain't paying me, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. But look, as I was saying, bro, so that's going to happen every year, man. If by some miracle, I I'm going to talk about the article, guys. If by some miracle, the VC prices do come down, there's going to be other type of strategies to make sure the monetization goes up. Look, this year, bro, what they did was the most scummiest shit ever. We had to make them change it, bro. They weren't showing people in the beginning, bro. You guys have to understand this. This is why I get so mad when people are positive about the game, bro. Because if they have some influencers, you know, shielding them, because influencers, they make people not be this or that, you know. If they have some people shielding them, they're never going to change their game and they're going to keep up with their ways, man. Because they people have higher ups. There's people who don't know shit about 2K getting a bag. They like, oh, keep doing what you're doing. Increase that. And you can keep your job. If you don't, we're going to get someone else. 
that's how it worked my nigga in the beginning bro i don't remember every single exact thing but they weren't showing you what what was going to be you you were going to be able to upgrade what builds were going to be able to speed boost what badges you would get for every build there were so many things details that you need okay you need to know because if you fuck up your build right you're going to have to make another it's not no stick out because people gonna have a competitive advantage you're gonna be like man i got this bitch ass build this your ass you're gonna make a new one and then the what, what you find out that oh that build don't have that and it's it's basically it's a it's a huge mind fuck and they can do this scummy shit there's so many other things i don't i really don't remember it's been so long but that shit's that's insane my nigga the, the, the shit is pay to win you got to get to 85 all there, there, there's so much shit my nigga i even think next year they might even make fucking triple archetypes my nigga okay when when they when they when they implemented archetypes right in 17 then you know the pures then the duel you know how much more money they made from fucking making it dual and pure archetypes because what, what, what that creates is people's confusion of what's the best of what they specifically want to do and they're like man i should try this shit or man i should do this or maybe that or oh, i see him do this there's so many options so it's it creates confusion for what people really want man and then I think they might have like a subcategory, like specializing. J just, I, I think they're gonna create more options to where people can fuck up their my player. If they do, they like the more options you have, the more someone cannot create the perfect build for what they specifically want to do. And what this creates is people making so many builds over and over and over again my nigga. but enough of that rant let let's get to this motherfucking article man i'm i'm, I'm ranting too long <laughs> i don't want to make this vid like 20 minutes my nigga i'm fucking tripping so let, let's check out this article man i've been ranting too much man i i gotta chill niggas not trying to listen to no 30 minute video <laughs> but nigga talking about fucking 2k but look so there is a fucking interview right and um, I'm gonna just read this shit to y'all and I'm gonna give y'all my feedback. And um, yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this shit, man. Last year, Take Two and 2K Sports faced some backlash with NBA 2K18's virtual currency plans. Yes, you did, bitch. Yeah. Look, let me, let me tell you something. Hey, Brian Mazik, you bum ass bitch. This nigga was like the only nigga that rated 2K like so high. Everyone else gave these niggas ones, threes, just because of virtual currency. That's why you can't respect his opinion, my nigga. He's directly correlated with these motherfuckers, man. He trying to get a motherfucking buck, oh stupid ass bitch. Dumbass nigga, get your lame ass on. As I was saying, man, <laughs> Take Two put a number of cosmetics behind the virtual currency, which informed how your player looked and also let people pay to improve how they perform in the game oh i think it got a snap yeah they they did and look every year as i was saying man these motherfuckers man they so they're so ingenious with this shit bro every year they make it to where you have to boost your my player with like well whatever you know boost your player and i don't know if everyone who's listening to this is going to understand to shoot consistently in the game they make it so they're, they're smart, man. I'm trying to tell you, my nigga. And that shit adds up, you know? It, it low-key makes it to where you're not winning VC when you win games. But, but you're getting the illusion like you are. Because you're boosting every game just to compete with everyone else. So in all actuality, you, like, never win VC unless you go to the fucking stage. And you nice. Stay woke, my nigga. These, these niggas not dumb, bro. These niggas... <sighs> man, you know what they could do, bro? They could like cut all this shit down, man. Like just one fourth all the VC prices. And what what they could do, man? They might even implement this shit because of Fortnite and shit. What they could do, bro, is 
have like for instance mascots right have every week you being able to buy a mascot or some type of cool cosmetic feature that you could put on and have it like every week that way it keeps the game fresh keep shit looking nice you could have when niggas hit a certain type of rep they get a certain you know they could buy shit every one week or two weeks and shit like that shit that don't help you win you know like fortnite that way you could get money like that just make the shit look super dope you can do that <laughs> you know there, there's other ways you don't gotta go fucking crazy my nigga you motherfuckers <laughs> When we're playing my career, we literally had to play my career. You made us sit through unskippable cutscenes just because you want money, bro. Like these niggas know we're not leaving. <laughs> you know? It's fucking insane. It's it's insane. We we tweet them, hey, stop. We don't want we don't want unskippable cutscenes. They they made sure. Get that ad revenue, man. They got, got that little agreements. Like, then come on, man. Shit. That shit was so annoying. Oh my God, bro. A lot of cosmetics had been free in previous games, which resulted in an outcry of players saying that Take Two was monetizing content by locking away once free cosmetics. That was only a few things. Y'all raised the price for everything. Look at fucking Tim's. Tim's were 9,000 B fucking C. Everything went up. What are you fucking doing, my nigga? Furthermore, accusations of pay to win mechanics dogged the game. I don't know what the fuck, that's not accusations, that's facts. Fans felt that playing the game without engaging in virtual currency economy was noticeably slower than simply paying to get there. Extremely slower. There, there was, if you go to my career and you try to get enough VC to get an 85 and all that, first of all, you're going to be bored as hell and it's going to take forever, ever. So basically this is, it, this is creating the environment to where you have, if you want to play competitive and have fun versus people and not just be ass, you literally have to buy to 85. They, they're smart, man. It's marketing. They make it so hard that you have to do it. Whoa, man. You know what I mean? You passionate about a game, man. Who, who doing that? Some old heads and shit? Like, nah, man, you know? Anyways, after numerous complaints, the publisher ended up pulling back on a lot of virtual currency price tags on cosmetics. Bitch, where? But the game's reputation for taking advantage of virtual currency was set. Yes, bitch. Let me read this part to y'all. Unquestionably, we pay attention to consumer response because we're so focused on, on engaging and captivating and entertaining the consumer. Finessing. That is all code for finessing. Zell Nick said, anytime we get feedback that is anything less than 1000% positive, we stop and say, what should we do differently? You're fucking lying. <laughs> Fucking lie! Niggas, niggas is lying. I think there's a small silver of the consumer base that actually wants everything for free. I think everyone does. <laughs> I, I, I I would say 80%. <laughs> or something high. I don't fucking know. We can't really help those people. We know you can't. You money hungry, motherfucker. I think most consumers just want a fair deal. You're fucking right. So we're very focused on it being more than a fair deal. We want to give consumers much more than they paid for. So fucking, they're, they don't care about that, my nigga. When you, when you look at a normal consumer's re re thoughts about this game, unbiased, niggas not getting paid, you know, all this shit. They hate this shit. They hate this VC shit, man. Everything costs so much, you gotta keep, hey, mommy, mom. Uncle, Uncle Tom, Jerry, <laughs> you know, you got to keep putting money. We're, I'm not even talking about my team. My team is in fucking insane, my nigga. That shit is super pay to win. You feel me? <laughs> this is not they focus, man. Like, bro, honestly, I hope the VC prices do go down. I don't really know what they talking about. 
we we at the very end let's one of the keys to grand theft auto's success is the massive popularity of grand theft auto online the multiplayer portion has generated a massive amount of revenue for take two you finesse you 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 finessing i mean if you if you make a game that has no competition and you're doing something that no one's ever done and your concept lit like you, you're taking advantage of your consumers man you, you niggas gotta stop uh, live y'all gotta step it up man we can't take this shit the second live come up man and if they not taxing i'm going to that game bro i, I swear to god but that that shit gonna be <laughs> a decade from now boy we do learn every time and we have to balance monetization with the experience you're not doing that in our case we sort of all regrouped and said wait let's remind ourselves that we're in the business of creating the best entertainment on earth across all types of entertainment we're focusing on engaging and captivating consumers they're focusing on finessing us because they know they have no competition if we do that right and that's our entire focus the revenues and profits will probably take care of themselves Oh, look at Fortnite, stupid bitch. You don't have to finesse niggas like that, bitch. So let's not overemphasize those. So I'm asking questions now like, does big data and having lots of data scientists on your team allow you to enhance your monetization? The an and the answer is technically, I suppose that would be the case. But are you a monetization company or are you an entertainment company? 2K, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused, my nigga. I'm, I'm getting confused. L listen to what he said. We're an entertainment company. And we, we get that right. Everything else <laughs> flows from it. <laughs> Nigga. Man. These niggas, man. Hey, man. I heard there was another interview where they said they was going to do some monetization shit like no other. I think 2K19 will be the worst it's been, man. And I'm signing out, nigga. Go check out my last video. It's hilarious. And um, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out this bitch. I love all you niggas. Thanks for watching, man.